Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It is Sunday, late morning, almost noon. I decided to go pick up my Walmart grocery order and do a little haul for you guys. This was like 189.43 if I remember correctly. Um, I still need to grab like snack type stuff, but I'll be doing Costco later this next week. So that'll just have to wait until then. Um, by the way, off topic, but don't sleep on Walmart's clothing. Their clothes have been amazing and their fall stuff is unbelievable. I might have to do a separate haul of fall clothes I got at Walmart because you guys are going to want to check it out. I used to go to Target all the time. I feel like Target really dropped the ball with their clothing and Walmart picked it up and ran with it because it is out of this world. The price is amazing. And I bought some summer pieces at Walmart and the quality is fantastic. They've washed up really well. They've held up. They don't stretch out. So just a heads up because Walmart's not usually the first place I think to look for clothes. I feel like, you know, 10 years ago, the quality was awful and now it's just unbelievable. So definitely check out Walmart. We're going to start down here. I have some bananas. I got some Lay's poppables for myself. These are Weight Watchers friendly and these are the honey barbecue flavor. Cohen's favorite rye chips. I got two packages of eggs. I plan on hard boiling 18 of them. Some chicken broth for some recipes I have coming up this week. We have some cornbread and some pancake mix. I have several crock pot recipes I'm going to be doing this week because we are in full swing with baseball and then Aniston signed up for softball. So we just need some quick and easy dinners and I want something that's like done that I don't have to come home and do. So I've got like a um, chili recipe I'm gonna try, I have a soup recipe I'm gonna try, and then a couple other crock pot dinners. So stay tuned for that. Maybe I will post some like how to's as I like make them. Um, or if I don't have time to do that, I'll at least post the links. Most of them are skinny taste recipes. I have some Asiago cheese. This is for one of the recipes I have. Some sugar-free raspberry. I'm gonna use this in some of my overnight oats, just like an eighth of a teaspoon of it, just a little bit some bay leaves, we have some canned pumpkin. The chili I'm trying is actually a skinny taste one I have not tried before. And it's a turkey chili with pumpkin in it and it got amazing reviews. So I'm super excited because it seems like such a fall dinner. Even though our temperatures aren't saying fall, I'm gonna pretend it's fall. I have all the fall candles burning. I'm using my fall coffee mugs and I'm making some fall dinners. I have some syrup. We have carrots and celery. Brown rice, we don't eat a whole lot of brown rice. I like it, but the rest of my family is just kind of meh about it. Chris will eat it, but he prefers rice with like sauce or things like that. So I just buy these. One cup is actually two servings, um, and these are just a lot more convenient, and then they just go in the microwave for one minute. And if I do have to send rice with Chris to work, it's super easy to just send one of these. I have some nectarines, kiwi, lemon pepper tuna fish. This is my absolute favorite. Um, they're always on the jalapeno, which is my other favorite. I got some diced green chilies and some whole peeled tomatoes. That's for the tomato soup recipe I'm going to do. Broccoli, we eat a ton of broccoli. Some lemons, I have a red onion and then just three regular yellow onions. We have some strawberry jelly, some salsa. This is our favorite salsa. I know I say it all the time, but like I always say, in case there's someone new watching, try this salsa. We have some northern beans, hot dogs, baby carrots, cilantro, and some fresh basil. I did order, I asked Chris, I'm like, what do you want? He's like, some Dr. Pepper. So I got Dr. Pepper, zero sugar. I was ordering this for quite a while. If you guys watched my hauls, when it first came out, I was getting like one case a week because it was like three something and it was cheap. Well, now it's almost $6, which to me is not worth it. I'm like, that is insane. So I usually don't buy a whole lot of pop, like very rarely. I buy like the sparkling water. So like a case of 12 of the sparkling water is only $3.22 compared to like $5.78. So I got cherry limeade sparkling water for Jackson. The Dr. Pepper zero sugar is for Chris and myself. Um, corn is for a recipe. Now this sausage, I talk about this all the time. It's my all-time favorite. It is so good. They are one point each, so one link is one point. I am obsessed. I love these sausages so much. Chris really likes them. Like They are my all-time favorite breakfast sausage. Even if I wasn't doing Weight Watchers, whatever, or WW, I'm sorry, is what it's called now. Even if I wasn't doing WW, I would be eating these. They're fantastic. The price has gone up. So the last several weeks I tried ordering them, they were out of stock, out of stock. It used to be $9.99 or $9.98. It was like $11.73 now. Same size, still only filled to there. Like ridiculous, but they're so good. And I haven't found them anywhere else other than Walmart. So I'm hooked on them. This was one of my substitutions. I had ordered the great value. I want to say it was the creme brulee coffee that I got in my last haul. It was really good. So I ordered more of it. They were out. So they gave me the Dunkin' Caramel. Me crazy. So I'm excited about that. I love caramel. 
Um, that reminds me really quick. I only had a couple substitutions and my only out of stock item was my sugar snap peas. And you guys know I've been addicted to those lately. So I'm kind of bummed about that. Um, I've got some finished dishwasher detergent. These little Kleenex things I figured would be perfect for my purse. I always like to have one in my purse. So I'm gonna put one of these in my purse and maybe like one in Aniston's backpack. Um, I'm getting over a little bit of a cold. Don't worry, it's not the virus. I just finally getting over it. I haven't felt sick at all. I just started losing my voice. So anyways, I got some makeup remover, three pounds of ground turkey. We have some navel oranges. So I had ordered cuties and they substituted them for these oranges. Extreme wellness wraps. Here we have some fruit snacks. And then this little Kleenex cube, I'm actually going to keep in my car because everyone's always like, do you have a tissue? Do you have a tissue? And I'm, I'm handing them over like napkins. And I don't have a lot of napkins in my glove box anymore. So this will actually fit like inside of my center console. So I ordered that. Some all purpose cleaning spray. This is the, I believe it's a grapefruit. Yeah, pink grapefruit and pamplemousse rose. I don't know. So I ordered that. Some hot dog buns and bread. We've got more of the garlic butter Ritz crackers. And like I said, just because we're getting into that time of year with colds and things like that, and I know that Costco and Sam's Club are cracking down on like paper products. You're only allowed like one per person, like per membership or whatever. So I grabbed a four pack of Kleenex just to have on hand. We have some light Thomas English muffins. I love these. One is three points on WW. If you eat half, it's only one point. We have um, grape tomatoes. Salsa con queso, a tablespoon of this is one point on WW. I believe that's what it is. I don't think it's two for one point. I'm pretty sure it's one for one point, but Aniston's obsessed with it. So I got her some more and some tortilla chips. Paper plates, my dishwasher is currently not working. Um, so we got a new, a new Bosch dishwasher like four months ago and I absolutely love it. It's an amazing dishwasher. And it read some like weird error code the other day and we looked it up and it, Chris, watched some YouTube videos and we thought let's not mess with it because this is under warranty so let's just give them a call. He did pull the dishwasher out and there was some water underneath of it so we dried that up but we couldn't see where like water was leaking from. So we called Bosch. I have to say their customer service is unbelievable. I'll just flip it like this really quick while I talk. Their customer service is unbelievable. So I called them Friday morning. They have a local company coming to fix the dishwasher. The soonest they can come is the 10th, which is next Friday. Um, and it's gonna be completely 100% covered because it's under warranty. Um, they said the code, it was like an E15 error code and it said like water tap. And they said that means there's either an internal or external leak. So we have it unplugged just so we don't forget and try to run it and like cause a big mess. So I figured for the rest of the week we're doing paper plates because I have like nonstop dishes because of this. Um, Jackson had a friend stay the night last night so I have dishes here and I still have dishes in the dishwasher that I have to take out and wash because they never got washed because the error code popped up. So yeah. That's why I had to get more paper plates. And then we have some white vinegar. I'm going to use this and try, um, I use this obviously like a vinegar water mixture to clean my coffee pot when it runs, when it needs to run through the clean cycle. But also I was reading that people clean their, like wash their fruit. I usually just wash all of my fruit with water. And a lot of people do like a vinegar water mixture. So I have to look it up. If any of you do a vinegar water mixture to wash your fruit, can you let me know down below in the comments what the ratio is that you use? I bought these containers on Amazon and they're supposed to keep your fruit fresh longer. So I haven't tried them out yet. I need to wash them up still, but like they have these lids with these vents and it's supposed to keep them fresher longer. So that's what we're gonna try. I'm gonna try washing my fruit in a vinegar water mixture um, and then putting them in those containers and see if we can get it to last longer. So I grabbed just a little bit of fruit. Um, you guys saw the bananas earlier. I grabbed strawberries and blueberries as well. And then like I said, Costco and then watermelon. Costco, I'll grab some more fruit. And then just a few Roma tomatoes. So here is our Walmart grocery order for the week. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic Labor Day weekend and I hope you're all staying safe and healthy. Bye guys. Hey guys, I was putting groceries away and I realized I forgot a whole bag of this stuff out in the garage fridge. So Jackson's friend was here and his dad was getting ready to pick both of the boys up to take them to a card show. So I wanted to wait and film this until after they left and so I put the cold stuff away and then got it back out. So I forgot to show you, we got a gallon of chocolate milk. I got a lot of stuff in here that I just didn't show you guys. Some unsalted butter, sharp shredded cheddar cheese. We have the reduced fat Fiesta blend shredded cheese. We also have light sour cream, plain non-fat Greek yogurt, feta cheese, and then some sugar-free hazelnut coffee creamer. So 
Now that is all of my groceries and I hope you guys have a fantastic Labor Day weekend.